We've been coming out here for the past few years, and it's just, this is a, it's a magical, magical experience. The trip to Yakima is, is one of the most important trips that I can make during the year. It puts us at an advantage for us to be able to select the ones that are exactly what we're looking for. It's going to keep our beer consistent, it's going to keep it tasting how we like it. I think if you haven't, if you haven't been here and seen this, you, you probably will take your hops for granted. Now oh, those smell pretty good and put them in the beer and they, they taste good. And, but there's so much that goes into it. We flew into Seattle and uh, rented a car and drove to Yakima. The very first day that we arrived in Yakima, we went directly over to Hop Union Yakima Chief and selected our Simcoe's for the year. One of our favorite hops, a big part of the, all the IPA and Double Trouble, and uh, a very important selection for us. So those Simcoe's have a big footprint in those beers. When I was designing the all-day recipe, I was looking at, at some of these newer, interesting varieties that I had been able to experiment with before they were hugely popular. By the time we, we released all day, we were pretty comfortable in, in the recipe and in how to use these hops, and you know, they've made some of the most interesting flavors to, that we have. Well, we went out and toured Haas. Uh, it's state-of-the-art. We toured their extract plant, hop extraction. And we saw uh, some alternative hop products that they make also. They're a real great company. And then we paid a visit to our friend Darren Gamash at, at VGF Farms. Darren is the uh, father of the Amarillo hop, which is another hugely important hop for us. Uh, Darren's a real innovator. He's always thinking about um, ways to do things better, and no idea is, is too ridiculous for Darren. If, if he thinks there's opportunity there, he's gonna pursue it. Then we went out and visited uh, Carpenter Ranch. Real down-to-earth, uh, honest, hard-working guys. A very, very old farm. The Carpenters have been, I believe, their seventh generation. They've been growing hops a long time. Also very creative guys. They're farmers, and, and uh, you know, they pride themselves in making a lot of stuff work. They build a lot of stuff themselves. It was, it was pretty neat to see. Then we went out and visited uh, the Siegel Ranch. We get uh, a lot of our Centennial and, and Cascade and. They grow a couple other varieties for us, but you know, they're smaller and they only take on a, uh, really a handful of customers, so we're pretty fortunate. The processing hops, you know, it's a, it's a complicated process and uh, there's a lot going on in these facilities and, you know, it, it can be a little bit dangerous from time to time. These, these machines are, they're, they're, they're whipping around, whipping the hops around and, and belts and, and uh, um, sometimes you get hit with some hops in the face and, <laughs> But then, you know, you smell good and you move on. They prepare a nice little barbecue picnic lunch for us while we were out there. And uh, sitting there eating this lunch, you know, in the, amongst, the, amongst the hop farm was, was a real memorable experience. Why didn't you eat a cricket? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm scared to eat crickets, I admit. We also went and did some selection at uh, Yakima Chief, who was recently actually merged with Hop Union, but they do a lot of processing for, for a lot of different farmers. And uh, when we were out there, we selected even more Simcoe hops, because we're going to use a lot of them. We went to CLS Farms and hung out with Eric, and he showed us brewer cuts first of uh, um, the Centennials and the Willamets we'll be getting. Then he took us uh, into some of those hop fields and showed us um, how his uh, Chinooks were doing. And uh, it was absolutely gorgeous and uh, smelled fantastic. It's, it's really surreal actually, uh, being a brewer and standing in the middle of a hop field and looking around you and being completely um, surrounded by these, this fantastic plant. And we also hit uh, Roy Farms, which is a, the largest hop grower out here. 
very clean and state of the art. And they do uh, something that's unique also here too, is they, they pelletize their hops uh, right from the cone form. Uh, they call it Harvest Fresh. They took us and showed us some of their experimental uh, hops. I'm like, this is really cool. There's an interesting little bar called the Sports Center and it seems to be the meeting ground for all the brewers while they're here during harvest time. And not just the brewers, but also the growers and the farmers. It's the sportsman, got his gun out, and he's spinning constantly. Pretty awesome. <laughs> for a long time, we, you know, we would make a harvest ale strictly with hops from Yakima. Uh, we've been developing some relationships with the local Michigan growers. Uh, we worked a lot with Jeff and Bonnie Steinman from Hophead Farms, uh, the Hop Yards of Kent, and a little bit from Empire. Um, all excellent uh, quality hops. Michigan hops are coming a long ways and it makes it a lot easier. These guys can just pick those hops in the morning and drive them right over to us. Uh, it doesn't get any fresher than that. It was fantastic meeting all of you farmers. Um, I am absolutely in awe and amazed by what you do every day. And um, I respect you immensely and, and you know, keep doing it and we'll keep making beer.